Hi, I'm Tommy from Patron Campus and I'm going to talk to you today about the X1N. Now I love this trailer so much I actually bought one uh, and it suits my family perfectly. Whether I'm camping with them or I'm camping with my friends, the trailer changes uh, as to how I camp. The X1N really brings us back to the roots of where the X1 started. You know, it started off your rooftop tent um, on top of the trailer and then you could have a pop top as well. Um, but now, with customer requests, they wanted the kids' room, they wanted an integrated tent um, to house larger families, they wanted more inside living. Um, and then that also evolved then to the X1H, um, you know, less setup time uh, and things like that. So, by going back to now the X1N, where there is no sort of rooftop tent, you can have anything you like, it's really bringing us back to the core. And the core was, you know, storage. One person set up, ease of use, you know, small, compact, lightweight. That's what the trailer's giving you. So now we're giving you, as the customer, the chance to put your current camp set up onto the trailer. So why the X1N? Well, no tent. You know, to a lot of people they go, you know, where do you sleep? What do you do with it? You know, the main feature of it is that you're after, and this is what everyone who buys the X1N. N is after, they're after the trailer. They're after what it gives you. They, you want the water, they want the batteries, they want the BMS, they want you know, the awning, they want the kitchen, they want that ease of use. But the X1N also gives that customer the luxury of being able to grab their rooftop tent off their car and put it on the trailer and be able to go wherever they want. You know, a lot of people still like that. You know, you could do what I've done. I went for swag, so I could camp with my family, I'm camping with my friends. It doesn't matter what tent I've got on there, it's gonna house all of that. What you really are, and this is why the X1N is great, is the simplicity, and it's also giving you base camp. That is why the X1N came about, okay? So it's giving people that luxury of being able to have every, all their current camping gear, even their current camping setup as far as tents or swags or, or rooftop tents concerned, and put it onto a trailer. So when they want to go, it's nice and easy. So how do you attach your kayaks, your swags, your rooftop tents? Well, we've designed the Exo Rack, and the Exo Rack is perfect. It's basically designed to take any accessory that you could put on any other manufacturer of roof racks, okay? So it's very, very versatile in that respect. So if you've already got a roof rack on the top of your car, you can put any of that gear on the top of the Patriot Campus X1N using the Exo Rack. Easy bolt up, uh, clamping up with the rooftop tent, now a lot of people would like this because obviously you're not right up here on top of your car, you're at head height, okay? So zipping up a rooftop tent becomes a lot easier. Putting things on and off the top of the exo rack is a lot easier as well. So you'll start to find the ease of use with the camper is a lot easier when you're using the exo rack. We've spoken about the exo rack and how you can put your bikes, your kayaks, your swags and things like that on top. Now let's talk about the tents that you can put on top of the X1N as well. So, there's four we recommend, and that'll be the iCamper SkyCamp 4, the iCamper X Cover, the James Barood Evasion Evolution, the Darchi Highview 1800, and the 2400. Now let's run through those tents and how they can be good for you. So the iCamper SkyCamp 4, um, which is the tent we've got on the trailer now, um, is, is probably one of our you know, most favorite um, tents for the trailer. It's a hard lid, um, it opens up and gives you massive amounts of space. You know, you can get the whole family up there. So if you're family of four, perfect for getting up inside. And it's got some really cool features inside it. You know, the map of the world, um, some really cool sort of uh, moon uh, lighting and stuff like that. Really easy to set up, but all in all, I love the camper, I love the space. Family of four, no problem with one of these, and look, it goes really well with the X1N.
Another great option for the X1N is the iCamper X Cover. They are very, very unique to the market in the fact that they have this is actually the cover. But you don't remove it like you would a traditional rooftop tent. It stays there. So it's one zip, it folds over, and into bed you get. So it's speedy, it's lightweight, and it's really light inside because you've got quite a large sort of clear roof over top that you can seal off. It's nice and, uh, and bright in there. Uh, another thing I really like about this is the weight of it. It's so light, and that goes perfectly with the X1N uh, and its lightweight uh, trailer, you know? You're not adding heaps of weight to it, so again, being really perfect for one of the Patriot Campers X1N. So another tent option is the James Baroud Evasion Evolution. Now the X1 originally was made for a James Baroud on the top of it. So the X1N now with the James Baroud Evasion Evolution um, you know, is perfect. We use this in all of our Patriot Games videos, um, all the trips that we do, crossing the Simpson, Arnhem Land, Cape, you just pop, up the, pop the clips off, pop it up, jump into bed, um, and then in the morning, putting it down, all your bedding stays in there, it's dust proof, it's waterproof, it's mildew proof, it does the lot. The quality of these things are exceptional. Inside the tent, um, it's got pretty much 360 degree views, um, so you can get air in from all areas. Um, you've got a few different access points, the main ones on the sides um, and one up the rear, depends if you've got it on a vehicle or not, but on the trailer, we'll come off the, uh, the driver's side here uh, and straight in. Another great feature of the tent is the extraction fan. So on those hot sort of days, you can get suck a lot of the hot air out of the tent, okay? And that's really important. It's operated by a little solar um, power on top. Inside is a rechargeable torch. So when you get inside the tent, you're, you've got a removable torch that you can use, or you can just have it up in the roof and turn it on and off as you please. Uh, it's got a little 50 mil high density foam uh, mattress in there. It's really comfortable to sleep on. Again, one of the best things about it is you can keep your bedding uh, inside, so you're not making your bed each time um, you want to jump into bed. They're a great product and a great extension for the X1N. Another great tent option for the X1N it's the Darchi rooftop tent. Now this one here is the Highview 1800, and you get a 2200 as well if you want a little bit more space. Some of the great features of the Darchi Highview 1800 um, are really the, the entranceway into the tent. It gives you a nice little area so you're not climbing straight out into the weather. Um, you can sort of leave all those windows and doors open, get a nice um, breeze through the trailer. The tropical roof is a fantastic feature. It's great for all weathers. Uh, and the large windows with you know, being held out so the water just runs straight off. You know, these two tents create another great feature for the X1N. Now I've run you through the exo rack and I've run you through the tents and how they all attach. But what I want to show you is all the great features that the X1N has and how it can benefit you. Starting at the front, we've got on the drawbar the DO35 hitch from Cruise Master. Now this is on all of our models throughout the range. It's the best hitch you can use on the market, the easiest and uh, by far the safest. We've actually got the tap that was introduced in 2019 on the drawbar, giving you better accessibility to your water and your water tanks. And if we move further to that, we'll open up the Gullwing box, dubbed the Man Cave, obviously. Uh, where here we've got the utility shelf and barbecue swing away. You can open that up with a baby Weber cue on there and do your cooking. Uh, nice and easy and accessible. Now these two are both options, the utility shelf and the barbecue swing away on the next one end, as well as a second gas bottle holder. So if you want to take a little bit more gas with you um, for your barbecue, your shower or your two burner stove, you're, you're more than covered. 
come round to the kitchen and we'll show you why this is one of the greatest features of the camper trailer. I'm going to show you through the kitchen, which is probably the most functional part of the camper trailer, and definitely the people's choice. You open up this door here, conveniently located is your fridge, straight away. So it's really easy if you want to pull up on the side of the road, grab a water, cold beverage, uh, or even make lunch, gives you access to that. What you do, slide out the fridge. Uh, now this here is a 50 litre Waco, uh, CFX 50 or you can use a 60 litre Evercool dual zone. So you've got the choice of two different fridges for the, for the camper trailers. Uh, just here, you've got somewhere to put your plates and you've got a nice little storage area behind there for your wet sponge storage. So when you finish washing up, squeeze your sponge out and put it in there. Another great little pocket is your cutlery drawer, which gives you basically everything that you and the family are gonna need while you're camping. Directly up from here is somewhere to wash all the dishes. Um, and this is a nice large sink uh, with a hot and cold tap to it. The hot being plumbed into your uh, gas hot water system um, to give you hot water to your sink. And then you've got the cold, which is already connected to your water tanks. Uh, all you gotta do is press the button, and away you go, you've got cold water. Let's head over to the control center, I suppose, of the camper trailer. Using these latches, um, they're nice and easy to use, and they're anti-vibration latches, so they stop your doors coming out on uh, corrugated roads. That unleashes the other part of the kitchen, a large bench space um, with everything at your fingertips uh, for everything you need while you're in this area. So, here you've got the control panel with all your rocker switches, basically highlighting every compartment. They obviously, they've all come with LED lighting. Uh, you've got somewhere for your water pump, so if you do need to use a sink, that's your water pump button. You've got the fridge to turn your fridge on, uh, and accessories. So the accessories are going to turn on all your 12 volt uh, appliances. So, airbag suspension, your 12 volt outlets, and they have in the kitchen a 12 volt socket and USB charging here. They'll also control your inverter, a 350 watt inverter on the next one end, um, and that's a standard as well. So, going back to here, the airbag suspension. now. This is, uh, the X1N is the only model uh, in our range where that's not an option, it comes a standard. Uh, and we love the airbag system, it's great for levelling, uh, getting your kitchen nice and perfect. So you can use that either side, uh, raising and lower, to find that level ground. Again, always using the best, we've got the Red Arc BMS 1230. Um, and that is going to control pretty much, to, or tell you what all your batteries are doing, uh, giving you solar input, 240 input, and charging off your tow vehicle. And that's just as easy, just to use these arrows to scroll down and see exactly what's going on with those batteries and where the charge is coming from. If we pan across to here, you've got a series of drawer systems. Um, now they can be used for all sorts of things. Each drawer has a nice slide on it and a locking mechanism. So if you're on an angle, you drop the, uh, the side down, the drawers don't come shooting out at you. What I think is really great about this is, you know, you always struggle where to put the large, you know, barbecue tongs, the spatulas, the big knives. Where do you put them? Well, this is a great place for them. With large knives as well, um, and it allows you to store anything that's long uh, and needs its own sort of drawer. And, which is Sarah's favourite, the spice rack next to that drawer there. So when you're cooking, you conveniently grab your uh, spices that you need just to make that curry taste a little bit better or your nice lamb roast. Opening up the two burner stove here, which is on a gas strut, again, so that when you pull out the door and you're on an angle, it's not all gonna shoot at you. It's nice and easy to use. The two burner stove is the easiest, just removing your gas bottle from there, hanging it on the conveniently located uh, hook just below, and screwing it into the back. Turning the gas on, and away you go. Now, the Bromic two burner uh, doesn't have ignition, so you will need to use a lighter for that. But you've got two burners and a grill plate. Another great thing about the, uh, the Patriot Campus stove that we use is it's totally removable. So if I wanted to create a little bit more bench space for when we're cooking, we can do that. And then we would typically move this either to a table just out the front of the kitchen or over to where the barbecue is. But it's very easy to use. 
which means you know, if it's windy and you need to get out of the, the cooking out of one area, you can move it very easily. So I've set the awning up, and as you can see, it's a massive space. It completely protects your kitchen from all the rain, the wind, the sun, um, and gives you that nice area to cook under um, and do, do what you sort of need to do while camping. Now, this awning is slightly different to probably what you've seen before um, with these sort of canvas infill panels. And that is because, you know, it doesn't matter what rooftop tent you have, we haven't really designed anything to match them. So, this will stop any water coming between the tent and your kitchen, okay? Um, you've also got these sort of holes that you can open up, so if it stops raining, but you think it's gonna rain again, you wanna get a little bit more ventilation into there, you can open them up. And it's the same on the back as well. You'll see we've got the awning light there, and it can go to bug light, and you can dim it and open it up as well. So that's sort of a little bit slightly different to what you're used to on our X1 and X1H um, videos. Um, but yeah, these are such a great awning. They keep so much of the sunlight out of this area. Uh, it really makes a difference when you can set your base camp up um, with the awning totally independent of the tent uh, and, the, and the trailer. Now here at the back of the trailer, I think the biggest thing you can sort of pick up are the honeycomb wet box, boxes on either side of the camper trailer. These are so good. I think in, in these trailers where you know, you're out bush, you're doing things, they're great for sort of recovery gear, muddy boots, thongs. Uh, in fact, my trailer's full of beach toys, you know, the diggers and the trucks, the spades and buckets. It's a great place to put any of that stuff that you don't really want to put inside the car. Uh, so there's one this side, and there's another one on this side as well. And they're huge, you can get so much in there. Your floor mats as well, you know, if you don't want to put the floor mats that have been in the sand, throw them in there. Uh, large spare wheel on the back, on the Pico uh, 16 inch rim. And that just swings away conveniently to give you access to the back of the trailer. Recovery points here and here um, to recover or be recovered uh, whilst on your, on your trip. And there's also an accessories receiver hitch here. A lot of people using bike racks and things like that to take more toys with them. Uh, and there's some really great products out in the market to use with that receiver. Uh, and you can ask one of your sales guys about that. Opening up the rear door, this drops down and creates the perfect little picnic table when you're on the move. You're just having a bite to eat, quick coffee, grab your chairs out the back here and you can sit around that. So, onto that. This is where you put all the big bulky items. Your tables, your chairs, your bucket of gear, and you know, porter cots if you're taking the kids. Anything that's big and bulky and you find it hard to fit, that's the place for it. And, uh, and to the left hand side here, there's actually a really, really cool uh, peg holder. Doesn't have to be a peg holder though. What I do is I use it as a small roll of tools that I put in there that are dedicated to my camper trailer. If we look in there, you can actually get about eight chairs and two tables in that section, and that'd be your normal sort of camping chairs. Uh, so just so much space. Your rear drawer is perfect for dry food, pots and pans. Now we deliver our trailers with all your, your guy ropes, your mallets, your pegs, your water hoses, your gas hoses, uh, your drainage hoses, everything like that. We sort of all put it in the back here so it's nice and neat and tidy. But when you're using it, you'll remove that. Most of this will go to the front gullwing box and where the shower, uh, hot water shower system opens up. Now you will see all these rubber seals around, uh, automotive rubber seals. They are to stop the dust and water uh, coming into the trailer. I'll talk a little bit more about that when I get up to the front of the trailer. Um, but a lot of people ask, you know, Tom, how do you get into the, uh, the back of the trailers? You know, if something's right at the front, nice and easy. Undo these wire, um, wires on the door. The door just folds down. You just make sure that there's nothing touching there uh, and you can climb in the back. And that gives you access to your service modules, which is where your batteries are, your main brains of the BMS, uh, your water, um, water pump and air compressor, all located under the removal floor at the front.
Another great feature of the trailer is the storage on this side, giving you access to what we normally use it for clothes storage. Now, I think everyone agree when you go away, you've got bags and they're everywhere. What we've devised is the Patriot Campers storage bags. And you could get four inside here. They all come with their name labels and everything like that. So each person has a bag, uh, a little box, and they can grab what they need and put it back, okay? That way you're not ending up with bags all over, over, over the floor there. When you get here, this is your typically a charging shelf teamed up with your 350 watt inverter for charging things like your you know, power tools, which a lot of people are taking these days because everything's electric, uh, drones, um, you know, kids' iPads, that sort of stuff. Uh, and you could put the device up here. What I actually like to use this for is uh, a little uh, convenient place to put the toiletries. So nice and close to the shower uh, and easy to grab. Another great feature, obviously, standard feature of this trailer is the fact that you've got a gas hot water system, okay, which is conveniently located on that door. Um, use the rubber, um, the rubber bungee, and that sort of stops the, the wind from blowing that door shut. And it's the same on the kitchen side as well. Um, but the gas hot water system is, is really easy to use. You use a, uh, the hose that we supply you, connected to the, the tap on the drawbar, connects to the underneath, Run the gas through to this, uh, this one here and then either connect your shower to it or this hose here, which then connects directly to your sink. So then you've got hot water at your sink. Now typically, we would run a little shower tent sort of about sort of one to two metres away from the actual trailer. Uh, these are really great. You can option for winter mode, summer mode, and you can change the sort of mixture between gas and water to uh, give a good temperature reading here on the unit. This space here though, is also a massive space and really versatile, you can use it for whatever you like. Um, there's also the option to have a slide here, so you can slide out, and typically a lot of people do that if they've got heavy um, things like a porta potty uh, or a generator that they want to sort of slide in and lift out. Um, but otherwise you do get a little bit more space when you don't get that feature. You've got your large shelf up the top here, again, can be used for all sorts of things, solar blankets, um, you know, straps and hoses, that sort of stuff in there. And if you look to the right hand side on the trailer, there's a filter there, and that's for your uh, pressurized cabin. So as you're driving along, air's forced in through the vents at the front of the trailer, goes through that filter and pushes the air out inside the trailer, which uh, stops any dust coming in to those seals. So it's very key that these rubber seals are kept free of any, uh, any debris, uh, and they're nice and, and clean. So you could change that filter as well uh, to keep that airflow through. On the right hand side though, you can see your major circuit breakers for the whole trailer. And that really is so that when you, uh, if there's any of an issue, you can always check those and make sure that they're, they're turned on. So that's a wrap up of the new Patriot Campers X1N. If you do want to find out more, you can contact me here at Patriot Campers HQ or your local dealer. You can jump onto patriotcampers.com.au to find out more of where your local dealer is or any more information on the Patriot Campers X1N.